representing UCLA, we have head coach John Savage along with Holden Powell and Kevin Kendall. Coach Savage, we'll start with an opening comment from you about this evening's game. It was a classic, really, in every in every way. Um, you know, whatever you wanted in that game was there. Um, can't say enough about uh, our guys, and uh, they're they're again what they've been through this season, and and uh, their backs against the wall. Uh, being a visitor in that game, you're talking about one pitch from uh, you know your season being over with. So, gotta give Michigan a lot of credit. Um, first two games of the series has been about as, as good as as you'll want to see in a super regional, and uh, it'll be determined tomorrow. But uh, you know it was a hell of a game, and uh, just real proud of our guys. Holden, uh, what did that outing take from you? And uh, when you go back out there again and again, um, what do you do? You have to do anything differently to sustain what you did in the first few innings, and also what what about tomorrow? Uh, well, there's still just a lot of baseball left to be played. Uh, we were just really confident in ourselves out there. I was really confident in my pitch ability, and I mean it was kind of unusual because I hadn't thrown that many innings this year, but. I've definitely thrown that many innings uh, in my life because I've been a starter pretty much my whole life. But just got to stay loose in the dugout and just really use the energy your team's given you on offense to take it out there on defense and just get outs. Kevin, what were you looking for on that bat in the 12th inning? <laughs> well, I'd, uh, I don't face many lefties. So getting in that 3-2 count, you know, it wasn't unexpected. Um, our team preaches winning three twos, and ironically, I found myself in that situation. So, not wasn't thinking much; I probably blacked out. But um, I was looking, just looking for a ball with play to hit. Coach, when you go through, especially in extra innings, all the momentum swings. How do you keep everybody focused and calm? Like you said, knowing that. It, well, it was you know the bases loaded, ground ball to third was crazy. Um, you know, the fly ball to center, the double play. I mean, it, I could just go back and, and look at so many things that uh, it's just a credit to our staff and really our players, their, their mental game of, of just keep on competing, as did Michigan. I mean, they did no nothing different than we did. You know, it just, you know, we are fortunate to, to come out on top. Um, but both teams, uh, you know, it, it, it was, uh, I mean, it wasn't a, a total clean game by no means, but at the end of the day, um, you know, we walked one guy in 12 innings. Uh, that, that's a big deal. Uh, so uh, Jack settled down after giving up those three, three runs early. And then Nate, and then what can you say about Holden? I mean, you know, your closer going five innings. We knew he was going to get pushed. We just didn't know it was going to be that much. So you just got to really tip your hat to both teams for, you know, being on the being on the field for five hours and, uh, you know, playing to, to a trip for Omaha and for us to survive another game. So um, just the, what our guys have been through, and uh, that's, that's, that's what I credit, you know, the 62 games that we played the Pac-12 and all the people that we played non-conference, I think, you know, I think we're prepared for this. John, what was your view initially of that double play at third? And also, what has the pitching lineup for tomorrow? Well, you know, it wasn't caught. It could have been, it could have been a triple play um, if the ball was cleanly caught, but the ball hit the ground. Great play. I mean, <laughs> um, you know, Nelson made a hell of a play. Um, but it was just a, a tag and a force and, you know, it's a double play. And then all of a sudden you have bases loaded, nobody out to first and second with two outs in a blink of an eye. I, I, I've never seen anything like that, but we're in pretty good shape for tomorrow. Uh, you know, we'll start in the Strini, uh, who gave us a good start last week. And, um, Holden said he can go another five innings. So we're good there. So 
but uh, no, our bullpen's in pretty good shape, and uh, we'll go in the Serena tomorrow. Holden, usually when a closer blows a save like that in the ninth, their night's done. Was it difficult to kind of mentally get locked back in and prepare for, for such a long outing after that? Um, it wasn't that difficult. I had confidence in our team to get us more runs. So I just used the energy that we were getting on offense and the base runners and then went back out there and just did the same thing. Didn't let that affect me too much. John, it seems like forever and a day ago, but how big was Stronach's uh, play from left in the fifth that kind of kept the margin at two? You know, that was a really good play by both guys. I mean, Jack's long hop throw and, and there, Noah, I mean, what can you say about Noah? Noah's played way beyond his years as a freshman. Uh, that tag is not an easy tag. Uh, skipping off the grass there, you know, later in the evening. Uh, but you're right. Uh, that would have got there uh, another run uh, off of Ralston and uh, changed the game. So there were so many plays you go back and look, and but certainly, uh, you know, Jack made a huge play. Another one was uh, when when uh, Driver stole second there in the ninth and then scored on the play in yeah. the field. Yeah, he stole you... 0 two outs, and, and uh, he got to second base. And Kryler's play at third base, you know, to, to Rob Brewer. I mean, butt ball smoked. And, uh, you know, uh, some of their plays, you know. So it's I'd have to look back. It's going to take a little time to look back. But, like I said, there was all kinds of plays made that made that game last as long as it did. we got time for one more. Well, then Coach Savage just said you guys were at one point literally one pitch away from the end of your season. Is that something that you guys even thought about? Did that cross your mind at any point this, uh, this tonight, or were you guys pretty confident that you could somehow pull this off? Um, it definitely didn't cross our mind. It definitely didn't cross my mind either, but um, we just have confidence in ourselves and just the ability. We know that we're going to score runs and pitch a good game, so we just have confidence in ourselves and still a lot of baseball to be played tomorrow, and we're confident going into tomorrow for sure.